the best football team in America, please. Oh, wow. Seattle Seahawks. Go your ship, everybody. Wow. It's a big ship. That thing is humongous. It took mighty men like Sam McCoy to tame a town like Norm. That fighting breed of Yukon men with a code of their own. They'd stand up to a grizzly bear and look him in the eye. But before they'd run or grab a gun, a Yukon man would die. Where the gold they were finding, a pipeline is winding. To Alaska, the gold rush is gone. That Arctic wind is howling in that far northern land. It moans above the grace of a many good men. It's forded below, just a little southeast of Nome. And the ground still freezes a little harder than stone. Where the gold they were finding, a pipeline is winding north to Alaska. The gold rush is gone. They've torn down the timber and they've dug up the ground took ten thousand men to lay that big pipe down fast trains and jet airplanes are changing our land but mighty men like sam mccord took it all by hand where the gold they were finding a pipeline is winding north to Alaska. The gold rush is gone. North to Alaska. The gold rush is gone. downtown Juneau. Juneau is the capital of Alaska, even though it, it is rather small, boasting an astonishing population of 32,000. Downtown Juneau is, main, maintains most of that population simply because of all the tourists that come here every day. It is also home to about 18 different jewelry stores. All the gold they mine, they, they make a lot of bling with it.
one of the kind of major tourist attractions when the when tourism really first started coming to Juno. So it's got right in the front. It has one of Wyatt Earp's pistols. If you're to go in there, you can see it. coming up on our right here. This, so the local tribes are called the Clickets, and this mural represents their creation story. So, in, the, in their creation story, the raven was scouring, and he, man, and he found a clam. Inside the clam, he found humans. We were there, inside the clam. And so, being as excited as he was about his discovery, he went around and showed all the other animals or in the area and in doing so, every time he showed them, unleashed more of us upon the world. Keep an eye out for years if you can spot it. Off to the right, you can see the local elementary school. That's where we keep Juno's most dangerous animals. <coughs> the tide comes in and out twice a day. So we have two low tides, two high tides every day. It switches about every six hours. So just keep note of where it is now to have a mental picture of it. And by the time we come back this way, it will probably be at some other level. Here to our right, it is called the Hangar. It is actually was of Juno's original airport before the new one that we saw back there. So this is the one that the little that the plane, the Salmon Thirty Salmon story came from. Right now, it's kind of just it has some restaurants in there, a couple gift shops. It's mostly just a tourist attraction. that you kind of go in and look at some of the history of Juno.
targeted. 